gnarly. What's up, Taylor? Dude, that nerd in his electric hybrid totally blew the light while texting his yuppie friends. That's so bogus, bro. Are you hurt? Yeah, like I can't move my hips, bro. I think I broke my pelvis, man. Dude, no way! Way! Taylor, you need to drop a dime and talk with the lawyers at the Advocates Law Firm. No way, can't afford that, bro. Your crotch is broken, man, and they don't earn any money unless they win your case. Dude, no way. You get injured, the advocates get results. Contact me today at advocateslaw.com. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. What's up? It's your boy, V. Ted Smith. Thanks for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Want more? Check out the greatest podcast in all the land. The podcast. Be sure to subscribe and listen to a brand new episode every Tuesday night. The debauchery rolls on. You're listening to the men's room with Miles and Thrill. 99.9 KISW. Super Bowl foods, hangover tips, cut up with a head chef and tins, meat and potatoes. In the meantime, the game is big dummy. 206 421 Rock. Uh, we brought up Pelicans for some goddamn reason. Oh, question we ask. Uh, Pelican is the state bird of what state? The state of Louisiana. We had a quick discussion about Pelicans. Clearly, we know nothing, nothing. about Pelicans. Nothing. Right? So everyone that has Pelican knowledge or has had a Pelican uh, sighting apparently has reached out to everyone to let us know where and when they've seen Pelicans. Apparently, they're everywhere. They're, look, they're just every goddamn all right? So, But this, to me, tops it all off. Apparently, there's even a limerick that involves Pelicans. Oh. So this was sent our way. <clears throat> a wonderful bird is the Pelican. His bill will hold more than his belly can. He can take in his beak enough food for a week, but I'm damned if I see how the hell he can. Uh, that's a good point. What is it with pelicans? They seem to have a lot of love out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're a limerick. Hello, Jay. Welcome to the men's room. Hi, fellas. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. You're on what? Question number three, we believe. That is correct. Jay, question number three for you. What is the capital of North Korea? Um, That would be Pyongyang, wouldn't it? Okay. Wow. There you go, Jay. Just say a hint. It I, sounds like the end of Jeremy I, from uh, I'd wanna, <laughs> the, the last two guitars, yeah. like Pyong Gang. I, uh, I, I just realized I don't know one city or town in, in North Korea. There's only one to know. That's I, what I'm saying. I, I see that one. I had no idea how to pronounce it. I didn't either. I've only heard it on the news. I just do what they do. So okay. Pyong Gang. Can you name some in South Korea? Well, Seoul. Keep going. All right. And that's the main one that people care about. That's the only one I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't, I can't, I don't think I can go past Doosan? that. Doosan? Maybe. You no, I'm, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. The Bears. Doosan Bears. What do they who do? They? Uh, Formula One you team. You say this like we team. should know do do? who the Doosan is. The Korean Bears. baseball organization. Oh, the first oh, one to come back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Should have known that. But they lost to Nancy Danos. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Game is big time. 806 421 Rock. <laughs> Hello, Stoner Jen. Welcome to the men's room. Liquor and whores. Liquor and whores. Jen, men's room poll. Who do you got, Kansas City or Tampa Bay? I'm going to go Chiefs. Chiefs it is. This will really make a difference when we count it up and uh, tally it back for you after the game. (laughs) Find out who was right. All right, Jen, here's your question. What are the dots on dominoes called? Shoot, I got a pass. Three possible answers. <laughs> None of them are what you said, Ted. <laughs> Hips, same as dice. Okay. Nips, which you find on the front of your chest. Or dobs. Dobs. I did not know yeah. that. Nips, pips, or dobs. Now you know. You learn something that's very important to know. Huh. All right, Jen, who was kidnapped on March 1st, 1932? Say the date again. March 1st, 1932. So the hint is in the year. Who was killed? Who was kidnapped? Good God, man. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. You know? I don't know. Is that the the baby? Somebody's baby? Charles Lindenberg's baby? Yes, Charles Lindenberg's baby. Don't know the baby's name. I think it was Charles Jr. Did they ever find that baby? I don't believe. My parents explained it to me once, even though they're not old enough to have been there. But right. I, I don't. I don't think they ever got the kid back, or they found the kid dead. Right. I, it was a pretty tragic yeah. thing. Thanks for bringing it up. 
So it didn't end like raising Arizona. No. They didn't bring Nathan Jr. No, they did not bring him back. You got info there, Mike? Uh, the baby was found. Ba- that says it all. Yeah, not good found. Okay. Oh. Yay! Positive Thursday. All right, here's your question. In the movie Dumbo, what is the name of the mouse? I'm not sure I remember the movie Dumbo. I mean, I remember it. I didn't see it. He's got big ears. <laughs> Talk about the mouse or Dumbo? He Come. flies, right? Dumbo? Yeah. yeah he's the. I don't, oh. I don't know. Dang it. I'm doing horrible. <laughs> His name was Timothy. Oh, excuse Timothy? me. Timothy. Timothy. Yeah, not Tim. It is Timothy. Or little T, they used to call him when he was younger. <laughs> Our multiple choice question for you. As of 2020, who had 14 number one hits coming in third behind the Beatles and Mariah Carey? Was it Lady Gaga, Rihanna, Taylor Swift, <laughs> or Justin Bieber? Uh, I got to go Bieber. B, that would be Rihanna. <laughs> Bieber, Bieber. I think oh, Bieber, Bieber, Bieber. <laughs> I'm going to guess Taylor Swift. That would have been my guess. I'll say Lady Gaga. It was the one you didn't guess, Rihanna. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Good, I knew. For, good for her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Grease my yeah. number one hit. You want to date an old, white, fat man? <laughs> <laughs> you know she does. <laughs> Come up here and live in the cold. <laughs> All right. Jan, your question, what does the abbreviation ROI stand for in the financial world? Oh, yeah. Reach on in it. (laughs) Um, Return on interest? What's that? Oh, you're close. close. Return Return on investment. investment. Because that's one thing you really need to do when you're playing for advertising. (laughs) Just make sure that the money you put down, you get back. If you said something out there, nobody comes to the door. Well, help. your ROI, it's just us. What we do is we bring you a better ROI. So when you place that money down, more people will walk in, more people will buy. Therefore, your investment will pay off. <laughs> Here, look, I've got a pair of PowerPoint pads. Press hey. <laughs> your ROI. <laughs> like every meeting. Presented by Kill Media. <laughs> All right, your question. What river separates New Hampshire from Vermont? Now, as a hint, it's named after another state in New England. Hmm. Huh. This is rock and music in the background. I don't know what this is. Uh, <laughs> New York River. Nope. Massachusetts River. Nope. Vermont River. <laughs> Maine River. Pennsylvania no. River. No. Rhode, Rhode Island, Island River. No. Connecticut River. Yes. The Connecticut River. <laughs> <You> got it. <laughs> <laughs> you were so close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Jen, what is the liquid component of blood called? A cell? The liquid component of blood. Not plasma? plasma? Plasma. Plasma. They pay you a lot for that. They do. That's why your yeah. TVs look so good. That is liquid blood. Look at this bag of weed. Inside of your television. How'd you get that bag of weed? Plasma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seriously, that was back in the day, man. They'd give you like 30 bucks. Oh, no, no. For when they're giving blood or plasma. <laughs> so they can go buy drugs. You looked at all the dirt bags in there, man. It's like, what did it take it, man? I remember my one buddy would go through the back of, like, basically the stranger student paper or whatever. And like, man, if we had HIV, we'd get, like, 100 bucks. <laughs> like, all right. Well, that's, that's a great point. Yeah, exactly. Wonderful. Damn. All right, your question. What, what question am I on now? You're on question number seven, Jen. Oh, Schnikey. Schnikey. That is a good answer. Schnikey. Schnikey. All right, what soft drink used the slogan, quote, obey your thirst for almost two decades? You're a stoner, man. Come on. Mountain Dew? What did you guess? Mountain Dew. Sprite. 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 Open your phone. You always forget how good a Sprite is to your crack one open. You're like, oh. I don't, I don't know. I don't oh, really drink soda. So. My kids. I don't drink a ton of soda, but if I'm going to drink, it's generally going to be Sprite. Sprite is good. All right, your question. What month gets its name from the Latin for 10? December. All right, Jim. Yeah. Okay. The Latin question. That's right. That's the one. Game is up, Big Dummy. 206-421-ROCK. Do we have a brand new contestant ready to play the game? Hello, JP. Welcome to the men's room. Big Dummy. Hola. Hola. 
JP, are you sober or not sober? Definitely sober. <laughs> okay, JP, welcome to the show. Men's room poll, who do you got Sunday, Kansas City or Tampa Bay? Uh, I'm probably going to have to go with Tampa Bay. Uh, my daughter likes the Buccaneers because they're pirates. So, <laughs> got to go with Buccaneers. Ah, okay. parenthood. Yeah. Somebody, by the way, points out. Oh, if you do, Miles, it says, uh, actually, Dumbo learned how to fly from Pelicans. Get out of here. <laughs> Did not know. It's crazy. That. Pelicans are everywhere. Man. But then one of the Pelicans ate Timothy. That, that was a sad moment. Yeah. Actually, I have a pretty horrible question along those lines coming up. Oh. I really do. It's terrible. All right, here's your question. John Hinckley Jr. attempted to assassinate what figure in 1981? Uh, 1981. Uh, Reagan? Got it. One and done, Jamie. One and done. Yeah. Nice job. Okay. Uh, I'm looking ahead for this question. The evil one? I mean, it's Why is it evil? evil? It's... It's just along the lines of what Ted was saying. You know, Pelican saw Dumbo on a fly, and then a Pelican ate Timothy. This is along those lines. I wish I could find it. Well, just give it to us, then. We'll see if we can get it. In the original story, Pinocchio. All right. Who did Pinocchio kill with a hammer moments after meeting him? (laughs) Jiminy Cricket? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. He bashed Jiminy Cricket to death? With a hammer. hammer. Why did they keep that in? (laughs) In the original story. (laughs) Then it's okay, man. They switched it up for the movie, but you yeah, the original story. I don't know why that's funny. He meets Jimmy Cricket a couple minutes later. Pow! If I'm not mistaken, it was Crows that taught Dumbo how to fly. Pelicans, Mike. Was it Pelicans? Pelicans. I we, we know it's not Pelicans. It's not Pelicans. My bad. <laughs> I, I, just was, I just Mike want to avoid the text. Like he had an official correction. I know. He's like, it was gross. Like, there's no damn pelicans in that movie. Jimmy was number one. <laughs> game is big time, 806-421 Rock. Who's our next contestant ready to play the big game? I mean, it's almost glossing over the fact that Pinocchio is a psychopath that killed Jimmy Cricket. Yeah, in the original story, like, moments after meeting him. Nice to meet hey, you. Pinocchio, bam! <laughs> I didn't say You kill a bug that talks, too. <laughs> That's true, man. <laughs> I feel bad having to kill you. Wait a minute, they can talk. <laughs> Remember, there was a whole show about cockroaches that lived with a dude named, like, Tim or Tom. I just read about that. I've never heard of this. It was somebody's but... apartments. Jim's, yeah. Joe's. And he li- it said, like, what were his, what animals lived with him, and it was cockroaches. Oh, yeah. Sounds like the metamorphosis. I was going to say, well, I've had moments like that. But <laughs> I don't know, Miles. If I, if I see an insect and he's like, don't smash me, I'd be like, no, All wait, right, wait, that's you, different. You got a few minutes. What's no, going no, on? That's different. He says, A Buddhist. What if he John. says... If he just says your name. I mean, if you say, don't smash me, right, I'm going to have some. But if it just says Steve, I'm smashing him double as hard. Because that's freaky. You know what I mean? No, what do you mean he knows you? No, no, but he knows, he's in my house. So what? Of course he knows my goddamn name. Yeah. But I'm saying, that's freakier than saying, like, don't smash me. I go like, whoa, I'm having a moment. Steve, it's like, that goddamn thing's the devil. I'm sorry. It's just how I perceive it. I don't know, man. I think I got. If I asked, I this, bring, Ted? I'm picking him up and I'm bringing right. him to work. Like you guys won't believe this. Yes, I was high, but I'm telling you, this thing knows my name and he talks. And then when I hear it, guess what? Smash! Yeah. What if he said, "Can Ted, I just get I'm some food out of the fridge?" Don't I'm bring that goddamn thing near me. You got to talk a bug. It's dead. Big <laughs> I'm sorry. You got to know it. It's like Starship Troopers in here. The only good bug is a dead bug. That is correct. That is correct. Hello, Tyler. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, bitch. Hola. Hola. Tyler, are you sober or not sober? I am on team not sober. Okay, Tyler. By the way, Ted, real quick, it was Joe's Apartment is the name of the Joe's movie. Apartment. About the guy that lives with okay. roaches. Tyler, uh, who do you got on Sunday at our men's room poll? Kansas City, Tampa Bay. I got Kansas City. Kansas City for the vote. All right, here is your question. Which came first, Facebook or the iPhone? Oh, uh, iPhone? The face of book. Face of the book. The face of the book came out in 2004. The iPhone came out in 2007. Oh. Uh-huh. All right, we move on. 17 years ago today, this website was launched by a Harvard sophomore and friends to rate the looks of women on campus. <laughs> MySpace. Facebook. Facebook. Ah. Uh-huh. See what we did there? I want you to picture Mark Zuckerberg. Just get him in your head. All right. <laughs> that, dude, that dude had the goal to rate what women look like. 
right. That he guy. looks like that guy. Not Rob Lowe with his buddy John Stamos. You're like, all right, I get it. You guys get your pay. Mark Zuckerberg. He looks like Robert England's son. <laughs> he does. <laughs> all right. Your question, which Star Wars movie gave us Lando Calrissian? Uh, re- Return of the Empire. Return of the Empire. And nerds everywhere. Seized. The Empire Strikes Back. That's right. Uh, <laughs> that was close. Yeah. <laughs> Return of the, the Empire. Empire. I'm going to use yeah, that I, one. <laughs> these pants don't fit. <laughs> Darth Vader's cape is too short. I'm sorry, sir. We can't take those pants back. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm in the Empire. I can't return this. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> these weren't the droids yeah. I was looking for. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to see a manager. But, but Lou can bring in anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your question What dessert has a custard base and a burnt caramelized top? Oh, intentionally. Delicious. Um, you can just go to a restaurant to get one. No matter how much food you eat, there's still room for it. Oh, this Always. is easy. It's like a Tetris dessert. You can man. get that and still get something else. Easily. Yeah. Ah. Uh, they use one of those blow torches sometimes. They don't have a broiler. Mm-hmm. Like a custard? It yeah, is. Yeah, it's a custard yeah, base. It sure and is. then it's a burnt caramelized top. Oh, I don't know. Um, Come on, man. This stuff is awesome. We obviously want to eat some right now. Used to be at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. uh, pecan pie. Ah, pecan pie. Okay. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Oh, creme brulee. Oh. Trust ever, hey, Tyler, Tyler, have you ever had creme brulee? No, I have not. Do yourself a favor. Knowledge. Seriously, next time you're out with a date or whatever and you can do that stuff again. If, you, if they have that on the menu as a dessert item, get Is one. He, I remember the first time I had wrong. it. Northern Virginia. I mean, it's not like a big taste. It just tastes good. It's great. Yeah. All That's right. what those little torch guns are for. Not for lighting your dab. And the reason we say do it on a date is because even if you just order one for yourself, for whatever reason, they always bring two spoons. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't plan on sharing yeah. this. And now it's too late. All right, here's your question. Now, now I have to. Now you have, right, because the other person grabs your spoon. They draw a line down the middle. <laughs> have you ever done that? <laughs> no, not me. I have. Oh. I like, get hey, the I, I ordered I this for me. Right. He brought you a spoon. He didn't bring you the dish, so I cut a line. Like, you can have that. Much. Much, Right. All right, your question. Pancetta is derived from the meat of what animal? Uh, cow. Pig. Peel. Pig. Ah. I was thinking pig. You should have said but pig. you said cow. Well, <laughs> I said cow. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say things that I'm not thinking. All right, your question. What movie popularized the phrase, show me the money? What year did it come out? Oh, man. I, it, I, uh, I, I, you throw us the question asking. All right. <laughs> we'll give you a hint and start Tom Cruise, correct? Yes. Tom Cruise is it. Uh, Mission Impossible. Show me the money. That would be Jerry Maguire. Tyler Hobelai will bring you back for question number eight. More of Big Dummy coming up if you'd like to be a contestant. 206-421-ROCK. Sticks. What, Wilbur? We just got hit and I think my back has all been out of shape. You gotta talk with those whippersnappers at the Advocates Law Firm. They're the best injury lawyers around. What? Pop down, Clarence. Abner's telling me about the lawyers and the advocates. So what happened to you, Abner? I was walking across the street with the light when some young punk came screeching around the corner. I lost a toe. What? Shut it, Clarence. If you get injured, the advocates get results. AdvocatesLaw.com. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. 5X480. Dayton B100 V-Belt, one of the many parts Granger carries. It's also the item that helped Rob carry the day. The job was on hold, deadline fast approaching. But a quick search on Granger.com and Rob found his part. And with same day pickup at his local branch, he and his crew got the job done safely and on time. Get supplies and solutions for every industry with real time product availability. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. 
The men's room is in progress. 99.9 KISW and KISW HD1 Seattle. One week from tomorrow, February the 12th, KISW's 50th anniversary oh. celebration. We'll be joined by some KISW alumni legends, also members of some of the best bands that Seattle has ever had to offer. And granted, mm-hmm. uh, you know, for members of Metallica as well, Alice in Chains, uh, Nirvana, the Foo Fighters. But I'll tell you, uh, to be honest with you, one person I'm really looking forward to talking to, and it's kind of weird when you work with someone day in and day out. Oh, me? See oh, him every bro. single day. You know, you're, you're, you're a part of each other's lives at work, out of work, uh-huh. everything else. The lovely Jolene. Oh, for sure. Who man. we would see yeah. every day. She's expected to, uh, to stop by on the program. We can find out how she's doing. Uh, she is since a birthday child. Yes. And yes. she moved to the, uh, the beautiful state of Colorado. So what does Colorado have in common with Washington? Uh, mm. Something, uh, something that's that's fun. Although you know, we we kind of expect maybe we see Jolene again. Sure. Problem is with COVID and everything else. Right, right, right. No one's able to travel all that. So uh, hopefully we'll uh, get a chance to talk to the lovely Jolene. The KISW 50th anniversary celebration is one week from tomorrow. All the stories, all the memories, and it's brought to you by Palace Law. All right, I believe we still have Tyler. Yes, sir. Not sober on question eight. Keep in mind. The biggest dummy's tied at 10. Ooh. So you're almost there, Tyler. Congratulations. You can join, the, you can join the other idiot, Tyler, and Ian. Or are that you the, the idiot? Same one. You are the idiot, Tyler. I am the idiot, Tyler. Yes. Oh, hey. No wonder you're doing so bad. Welcome back. Yeah. You just plow through oh. questions. This will be your 18th question of the year. It's like you're like the Kansas oh, City Chiefs of right. Big Dummy. We have, to work, we have to work harder just because you play the game. <laughs> 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 oh, by the way, we have a correction. Mike. Yeah. Regarding the movie Dumbo, oh yes. Now there's an argument about what, uh, whether or not they were crows or magpies. I don't care. However, the birds in the movie Dumbo are not responsible for teaching Dumbo to fly. Timothy the mouse was. The birds were laughing at Dumbo's attempts. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. But he needed the feather. That's right. We're getting corrected uh, left and right today. And a boy, Timothy. <laughs> he didn't get smashed with a hammer. All right. Here is your question. This rock star will no longer appear on the television show American Gods and was dropped by his record label after allegations of abuse from four former girlfriends. Um. Uh, what was his name? That's exactly what I'm asking you. <laughs> and, still is, and still is. He's still alive. Um. God, I can't remember. Uh, Rick James? Rick James. So close. Marilyn Manson. Oh, okay. I think, Tyler, you just want to be your own individual Vegas dummy, and you're faking the whole thing. I don't. No. I just said that to Mike. Because I thought <laughs> last time he was a big dummy, we just kind of cut him off. Did we just cut you off last time? No, I tied on the last question, but the uh, yesterday when I called, you guys cut me off. Yeah. Ah, okay. So there's a pattern. Why do we dislike <laughs> you so much? Why do you think that is? Are your stories boring? You know, I don't know. Okay, fair, fair. We'll get to the bottom of it, I think. <laughs> I hope so. All right, here's your question. The world's tallest dog died in the United Kingdom this week. It was a great name, a great Dane named Freddie. He passed at eight years old. Now, how tall was Freddie when he stood on his hind legs? Multiple choice. Five feet tall, six feet, six inches tall, seven feet, five inches tall, or eight feet tall? I'm going to guess eight feet tall. Seven and a half feet tall. Or seven feet, five inches. All right, Tyler, if you miss this one, you're going to tie your own stupidity. So you can know that you're twice as dumb as everyone else who's played the game. (laughs) Thank you so much. You are quite welcome. What state, and now in multiple choice, what state announced this week that it'll no longer offer license plates with the Confederate flag on them? Is it Mississippi, Florida, North Carolina, or Idaho? I'm going to say Florida. Oh, you did it! I wish we had applause. Yes, Mike. North Carolina. North Carolina. Question 11. Biggest dummy. Now, Congratulations, nice is, Tyler. The only, um, only thing we have to change next week is the number of questions. Do not put this on your resume. <laughs> I'm a two-time champion. God. It's still early February. I wouldn't even hand you a leaf blow. <laughs> Which are fun all, and easy to use. All, all I need is a rake. That's all I need is a rake and the shovel. I still, I would give you no, no tools. Nothing. None. All right. Here's I'll, your question. I'll bring my own. I'll bring my own. This actor who played Screech on the TV show Saved by the Bell, he passed away this week at the age of 44, battling stage four cancer. 
uh, you know, if it was multiple choice, I would be able to tell you. Um, the other two times I gave you multiple choice, you didn't. I don't even believe that. <laughs> Give me the rake back. <laughs> uh, what, what, uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, I'm going to have to pass. No passing allowed. Dustin Diamond. Write something down. Oh, oh that's it. Try. Diamond. That's it. Diamond. We're going to have a no pass rule. Unless it's All weed. thanks to me, right? All thanks to me. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's see. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. French police raided an orgy at a Paris warehouse over the weekend that broke uh, coronavirus protocols, curfew laws, etc. How many participants were fined for their involvement in the orgy? 17, 38, 54, or 81? I'm going to say 54. <laughs> 70? 81. 81. 81 oh. people. Well, the last time I guessed D, I was wrong. <laughs> and you were still wrong. Right. Because <laughs> you guess C instead of D. Jesus. All right, your question. How many days does it take the moon to orbit the Earth? One. <laughs> 28 days. I would have accepted 27, 28, or 29. Question 14. Wow. Question 14. All right. The leaves of the eucalyptus tree are the only food that what animal will eat? Orangutan. Uh, the koala bear. Yes, the koala bear. Koala. Oh. You think? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Is that the monster? Oh yeah, that's him. Oh no! Oh, 14 questions. By the way, Tyler cannot play again until somebody breaks that record. Just so you know, he can't break his own record of idiocy. So how many How many goddamn questions? 14. I think he's just playing. Hey, that's my issue. I'm yeah, just not like, so I don't, mi- I don't mind you play the game. Just at least give it a shot. Like, yeah. What are you going to do? Go to a bar tonight and tell everybody you're the biggest dummy? And you bored everybody for 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. But I do believe he's that stupid. Really? I do. Nobody's that dumb. Ah. Nobody is that dumb. Yeah. If he can drive a car, he should have his license revoked. Have you seen the news lately? Yeah. There are people that dumb. I'm just saying. Okay. Dummy. And he might be one of them. I don't know. I think he is. Hello, David. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. 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 David, welcome to Big Dummy. Are you sober or not sober? <laughs> sober. That guy was really stupid. God damn, man. I'm right there with him. <laughs> like, who would hire that guy? What, what could he do? He couldn't even cut your grass straight. All right, David, uh, who do you got for Sunday? Kansas City or Tampa Bay? Uh, Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. Who did Tyler pick? Just pick the opposite of that. All right. Here's a question. Who was the first Disney princess to kill people on screen? Pocahontas? Not a bad guess. No. First Disney princess to kill people on screen. I'll give you a hand. It used to be and the eight dwarves. Oh, Snow White? No, I'm kidding. It was not Snow White. <laughs> Snow White did not kill anybody. Little Mermaid. <laughs> Mulan. Oh, yeah. She, uh, yeah. She's like a warrior, right? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. But yeah, she was the first. She broke barriers, Ted. Said, I'm going to kill people on screen, mm-hmm. goddammit. Like Lifetime. And Mickey said, you know what? You go for it. Blew the guy up. She blew him up? She blew him up. She fired a massive firework at him and, and made him explode. Oh, I figured she stabbed him with a sword or something, really? Damn. Okay. She's like the female Pinocchio. <laughs> Which right. is weird. It's the few princesses I've met are very stabby. <laughs> Does Mulan walk around Disney World? Oh, I don't think I've been there since that movie came out. Okay, because if she does, you'd be like, I know you're a killer. All right, your question. What movie coined the phrase, quote, in space, no one can hear you scream? Uh, lost in space? What'd you guess? Lost in space? Uh, this movie scared the piss out of me. Alien? Alien. I'm thinking to see it now was 10. My mom heard my ass screaming in the movie theater, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, what was the name of the 1976 Led Zeppelin concert film? It's also the name of a Zeppelin song. I can't even tell you. 
I don't know. The song remains the same. The song remains the same. And the individual song off of Houses of the Holy. All right, David, question number four. Question number four. What is Seattle's sister city in Japan? And as the hint, it's the same as a legendary basketball player. Wait, what was the question? What is Seattle's sister city in the country of Japan? As a hint, it's the same as a legendary basketball player or a delicious hamburger. I should know this because uh, the Seafair Parade, they're always in it. A delicious hamburger. NBA player. I don't know. Bacon double cheeseburger. Kobe. 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 Yeah. Uh-oh. Like, I've never had a Shaq burger. Well, I kept, I kept thinking Wagyu, and I'm like, right. no, 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 that's the American burger. Yeah. <laughs> Question five, David. Question number five on the TV show Family Guy. Anna Lee is the daughter of which character? Oh, man. Uh, Joe? Giggity? Yeah, get it. Quagmire. Yeah. My record on this game was four. So. Well, guess you've broken your record. Congratulations. Yeah, question six. <laughs> All right. Who played the sadistic sheriff in the Clint Eastwood movie, Unforgiven? Oh, man. Uh... Let's start something together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's the voice of... Uh, he's Home Depot. I think he's Lowe's. Lowe's. He's, yeah, he's also the voice of Lowe's. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Gene, uh, <laughs> Gene Hackman. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know if his I don't know count. Uh, by the way, uh, Mulan, we we're talking about the first Disney princess to kill someone on screen. She does, in fact, walk around Disneyland. He was oh. the one who wrote the, uh, read the, the Duck of Death, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the duck of death. The duck of and death. And not one straight angle on his house. No. Nope. All right. <laughs> All right, multiple choice question for you. There's two lion statues outside of the New York Public Library. One is named Patience. Little Patience. The other is named what? Is it Perseverance, Strength, or Fortitude? Perseverance. Oh, the other lion would be... Strength. Fortitude. I didn't ever like that one. That's a terrible name. I know. I don't think Siegfried and Roy named the title. I changed my name. Gary. Anything. I'll go Ponch. You know what they call the other lion? Coward. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. (laughs) Let's go back to the world of Disney. What was the first Disney animated feature film directed by a woman? Girls Uh... loved this movie. I hated uh, this movie. Frozen? Oh, there you go. All right, all right, all right. Do we have time for one more contestant in the game known as Big Dummy? What do you think, Mike? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. let's got, do it. We got do it. at least one more. Hello, Brady. Welcome to the men's room. Happy Chinooka. Happy Chinooka. Happy Chinooka. Brady, are you sober or not sober? I am sober. Welcome to the show, Brady. Thank you very much. And a happy Chinooka. Men's room poll. Who do you got? Kansas City, Tampa Bay. You know, my name's Brady. Everyone calls me Tom Brady. I don't like the guy because he beat the Seahawks in the Super Bowl, but I'm going with Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tom By Brady. By the way, as far as the votes on the uh, contestants, five votes for Tampa Bay, four for Kansas City. That sounds so about almost right. as close about everyone said. Yeah. And no one seems overly confident. No. All right. Here's your question. In the Matrix, what was me? Jesus Christ. In the Matrix, what was Neo's name before he named himself Neo? And I'll give you a hint. It's oh. the same name as the star of Blackish. Oh, gosh. You know, I knew this. I just watched this movie and I, I totally forgot. But I want to say Lawrence. Well, Lawrence Fishburne <laughs> was in the Matrix. <laughs> I, think, I think we understand why you want to say Lawrence. Was he in Blackish? <laughs> No, the hint is the same name as the star of Black is Anthony Anderson. That's why it's just like Mr. Anderson. It's like a Lawrence Fishburne fan reunion. I want to say Lawrence. (laughs) Don't call him Larry, apparently. Oh, yeah. Chris and the sister let us know. All right. What kind of ball is made up of 12 pentagons and 20 hexagons? 
That'd be a golf ball. Uh, the dice and... Nope. Ball. Soccer ball. ball. Oh. Oh, son of a... Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's, that's it's, an easy one. Yeah, it's obvious that's when it. you hear it. Yeah. Well, since we were talking about uh, Keanu Reeves, what Japanese word for wave person refers to a masterless samurai? The hint would be Keanu Reeves starred in a 2013 movie featuring 47 of them. Ronan. Oh, uh-huh. there you go, Brian. Uh-huh. Very, very, very good job. All right, head chef on the way. Ted's made potatoes. We're going to eat hot dogs, talk Super Bowl foods, and hangover tips. You are listening to The Men's Road. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org.